everyone, King 77 here, here to do a video showing you how to install the CyanogenMod 10 ROM on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G, the one with a keyboard, yes. Uh, finally getting around to a video, sorry for the delay, but uh, let's go ahead and install CyanogenMod 10. First of all, you do need to be rooted and make sure you do have a custom recovery installed. Once you do, you're ready to go. Go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to this link right here. Huge shout out to CM Team Epic for putting this ROM together, everyone involved in getting this thing going. But otherwise, go ahead and scroll down, scroll down. There's actually a couple options. There's a preview build from September 1st, or you can install Nightly's, which is probably what I recommend, but keep in mind, not all Nightly builds are completely stable. Uh, I mean, the, this ROM is basically in testing still, so I mean, you're not gonna necessarily have completely stable builds all the time. So what you can do is go ahead and uh, you'll see where it says download from git, uh, git.cm. Go ahead and click on that and it will take you to this site right here. Here's where all the nightlies are. So what you can do is you will see that it says Epic MTD Nightly. The latest is usually up at the top. So you'll see uh, it, it says date added over on the right side so you'll know which one's the latest. You'll see basically every night there's a new build just because they have, they have bug fixes and they add new stuff from CyanogenMod and things of that nature. Uh, every once in a while things will get broken though, so kind of keep that in mind. But what I'll recommend doing is downloading the latest nightly. You can also read the ROM thread, that's a big thing, is go ahead and go to different posts towards the end on the ROM thread and people are talking about the latest builds. So do that as well, but otherwise go ahead and click on hopefully the latest nightly is working or a build that you know of that is working. I'm going to go ahead and download 9.11. I read some comments that it's running well, so I'm going to go ahead and do that build and go ahead and download that. So it'll be a zip file. What you need to do is go ahead and transfer that zip file that's downloaded over to your device. So go ahead and transfer that over. And then you're going to want to click on the link, and then the next link in the description, it will take you to the G apps, the Google Apps add-on. You'll see CyanogenMod 10 up at the top. Click on this latest download right here for Android 4.1.1. Download that as well. It will be the G apps add-on, and transfer that zip as well over. So you need to transfer the ROM zip and the Google Apps add-on zip itself. In regards to nightly builds, if you want to flash, let's say you flash the 9.11 nightly, and then the 9.12 one comes out and you want to install that, what you can do is go ahead and wipe cache, Java cache, and install it, and hopefully it should work okay. You can make an Android backup if you would like to be safe. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how you can update to later nightly builds. Uh, you don't necessarily don't have to wipe data. But now, once you have both zip files on your phone, go ahead and go back to your device. And once you have both those zip files on your device, we need to get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and hit uh, Reboot Recovery. If you have an option in your ROM or volume down, while, while the phone's off, press and hold volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time if uh, you, you do not have an option within a ROM. Otherwise though, let's go ahead and let this reboot me into my custom recovery. All right, so here we go. I do have Twerp Recovery myself. Uh, it should work whether you're on, whether you have Twerp or Clockwork Mod. Either one should work just fine. But first, before you do install this ROM, you do need to make sure you make an Android backup. So go ahead and go to the backup menu and make an Android backup. I already have one, but that's the first thing I do recommend that you do. Once you've made an Android backup, we're ready to go. Go ahead and go to the wipe menu. And first of all, go ahead and make a do a factory reset and hit swipe to wipe, or do a factory reset within Clockwork Mod as well. So make sure you do. Fully wipe. Once uh, that is done, go ahead and hit back and go to the cache and wipe cache. And then hit back and then go to Dalvik cache and wipe your Dalvik cache. And once uh, done wiping all three of those, we are ready to go. Again, keep in mind that did wipe everything, so uh, make sure you, you, you have all your apps, contacts, etc. backed up. Now go to the install menu and go ahead and find that ROM zip, um, whether you downloaded the preview or a nightly. You'll see CM10 right there. Go ahead and select it and then go ahead and hit swipe confirm to flash. And then it's gonna go ahead and find the ROM zip and install the ROM zip for you. Uh, this will take a little bit of time, so uh, let the ROM install and I will be back once it's done. All right, and you will see successful. The ROM is done installing. We're not done yet though. Go ahead and press the home button or hit go back. And then we need to go back to install and now find that G apps add-on, the Google apps add-on um, for our ROM. Just to install that, you'll see G apps JB zip. Go ahead and select that and hit swipe to confirm flash. And then our uh, Google apps add-on is going to go ahead and install. It won't take as long as the ROM. It'll take a little bit of time though. Uh, this will give us the the Play Store, Google Talk, a bunch of other good Google apps as well. So let that install. 
All right, and once the G apps are done installing, just hit reboot system now, and our device is gonna go ahead and reboot. And once it reboots, we should be done. We should now be on the CM10 ROM on our Samsung Epic 4G. You will see signage amount right there, Galaxy S. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm gonna be doing a separate review video of this ROM, so definitely be sure to check that out. I'll link to it in the description. It looks like this would be the boot animation. Uh, but anyways, that's it. So be sure to check out the review video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Oh, there we go. So there's the boot animation, the new updated Cyan Germain boot animation. So very nice. Let this boot up. First boot up will take a little bit longer. Subsequent boot ups will not take nearly as long. But again, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.